Hey everybody, Joe Workman here, and I'm really excited to introduce you all to Moving Box 3. Now, Moving Box has been around probably for over 10 years, and version 3 takes it to completely new levels. It is modern, it has a completely redesigned, easy to use interface that is super powerful and flexible to integrate into your layouts. I have to say, this has to be the stack of the year. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's quickly look at some of the amazing features that we have inside Moving Box 3. Now, this first demo, you've probably seen it on our homepage, and it kind of is the kitchen sink demo. It's really awesome. It's a slider that shows you the amazing ability to have slide content animations. See, we're mixing images and text. We're creating our own layouts within the stack. Um, this is a really great example of how you can really make Moving Box amazing. And this implementation is actually shipped inside the demo file so you can see exactly how it was done. Now, the rest of the demos on this page are meant to focus not necessarily on the slide content, but the actual features. So here we kind of have everyday sliders where we have horizontal sliders and vertical sliders with a cool bounce effect. Now, one thing I want you to be aware of is, as you're looking through all these demos is the different customizabilities for arrows and nav dots and different animations that we have because there's a lot, a bit, pretty much an infinite amount of combinations for all of those things. So the arrow positions, the arrow nav dots, um, the slide counters. Next, we have carousels. We can actually see multiple slides at a time. Uh, you can move one at a time, multiple at a time. You can have vertical carousels as well. We have the ability to have variable width content and height content. So um, your, no matter what your size of your content is, Moving Box will actually obey that and not make all the slides the same height. Same thing for width. Next in center mode is not only can we display multiple slides at a time, but we can have a particular slide kind of front and attention. And we can style it completely differently. So here we have an example where they're kind of spaced out. And this below example with this pretty interesting animation um, shows how we can have overlapped um, center modes. Next is slide timers. We have two different options for that. We have the bar as well as the ring animations. And then the slide progress bar shows us the actual progress that we have throughout the entire timeline of our slider. Next is vertical syncing. And this is probably one of the most requested features is to actually vertically sync multiple sliders, more than two um, at a time. Now in this example, we are syncing just two. Um, but as you see here, we have two instances of, of moving box and they are kept in sync. Next up is external controls because we don't always want to use the arrows or nav dots. Maybe we want to control it from a button on the page or a link where we want to link directly to a slide. These controls make it super easy to do that from any button or text link. And last but not least is throughout this demo, we used a lot of stack based slides where we actually had stacks content within our slides. But Moving Box also comes with image and video slides as well. And as you see here, those actually come with really nice animated captions that have different supported layouts and animations for these captions, which really can make it super easy to make a simple image-based slider. And what's really cool is on video slides, when the slide becomes active, the video will auto play which is really amazing. Okay, let's jump into Rapweaver and just get a glimpse of what it's like to use Moving Box inside of your projects. So here we have a Moving Box instance. Now we can actually collapse the slides to actually reduce the amount of space used by Moving Box inside edit mode, which is a nice little feature. Now Moving Box uses a child menu to add all kinds of functionality to Moving Box, where we can add a new slide, a new image slide, video slide, if you want to add animations to our slides, we can do that with the animate stack. Um, we have slide styles to control all our styles throughout. Um, swatch colors where we can integrate with Foundation 6 if you're using that. So you can integrate all the colors that you've already defined inside site styles directly inside Moving Box. Then we get our dots, our arrows, counters, progress bars, timers. And then last but not least, we have the multiple ability to actually dynamically generate slides through feeds and different ways of using Total CMS. There's three different ways of creating and generating slides from Total CMS dynamically using Moving Box. Super powerful. 
So I know I really zoomed through all these features. There's so many amazing features in Moving Box. I could talk for hours. And we've already done a live stream that reviewed a lot of this stuff. But make sure that you check out a lot of our shorter form of tutorials that we're going to do that target each individual feature. It integrated with Moving Box, how to use the timers, how to use progress bars, how to use the image and video slides and captions. All those will have videos. Make sure you check those out. Um, we just want to give you a quick overview of Moving Box. As you see, it's super powerful. It's going to be the only slider you're probably going to need forever. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. It's definitely, I think, the stack of the year, and you got to check it out. Now go forth and make your websites great. Bye.